What's up everybody? Today's February 8th, 2020. Um, first fishing trip of February. Last weekend, unfortunately, I uh, was in West Virginia on a family trip and did not get to fish, but uh, fortunately, uh, have the free weekend to take my daughter out fishing on our second fishing trip. Uh, about a month ago, I took her out for her first trip and it went really well. Um, but I always want to build on it and try something different to, you know, make the experience a little bit better. Uh, one of the things I think that might make it a little bit better for her is using a, a lighter rod. So what I'm going to be trying today is my ice fishing rod. It's about a two foot rod, probably weighs less than two pounds um, with the reel on it and the, and the weight. Uh, I think that'd be a little bit easier for her to manage and I'm not getting ice fishing anytime soon with the, the weather being so warm. Also bringing the skip and hop because you got to keep the kid busy. Um, I know most eight, eight month year olds want to play. They don't want to just sit around. So this is my uh, best friend on the fishing trip until we catch fish. So stay tuned and see how we do. Hey, today's video is going to be a little bit shorter. And uh, the only reason is um, it's not really much of an informational video or new techniques. It's just me and my uh, partner in crime getting out on the river uh, while we got a nice day in February. Um, also won't be very long just because she's got to be uh, back home in about an hour to go down for her next nap. And you know, if anybody with little children know that that's very important to stay on schedule. So the other big thing <clears throat> that you can't forget is to bring plenty of toys. I know that kind of sounds stupid, but you know, if you have an uh, infant or a young child, they just want to play. They don't want to stand or sit and watch, you know, a, a fishing rod for an hour to just see if a fish is about to hit. Um, especially at that age, they ha they have no patience. So, if you want to do yourself a huge favor, pack five or more toys on top of what you were gonna pack, just in case they start to get bored. Because the minute they get bored is game over time to go home time to go for a nap so number number one thing always bring enough toys um you could always keep an eye on the rod and i think it works out best for my daughter when you know i'm keeping an eye on the rod for her while she plays and then once a fish hits i'll hand her the rod and for her she doesn't you know know anything other than catching so you know unfortunately when she grows up she's going to realize that fishing isn't just you know reeling in fish every time the rod's handed to you there's a lot of time and effort that go into it but as a kid you know you always want to make it an enjoyable experience for them so that they want to continue it but uh like i said if you stay tuned great uh if you're one of those guys that wants to learn fishing spots and new techniques i'm sorry this ain't the video for you just a little video of me and my daughter now one of the most important things um winter time I love using live bait. I know a lot of guys say it's a cop out using live bait, but um, when the fish are lethargic and the water temperature is, you know, not too warm, live bait 100% outfishes uh, soft plastics, in my opinion, for white perch. But uh, one thing, oh, that's pretty neat. Somebody lost their sunglasses. Huh, sucks to be them. But uh, best bait you can use for white perch in the winter time in my opinion is grass shrimp and minnows which i caught a bunch uh friday but one of the big things when you're storing them uh, a lot of guys make the mistake of <clears throat> uh keeping the bait in a bucket of water with an aerator i've found over the years that you can keep them pretty well get some sunlight in there you can keep them pretty well uh without water as long as they stay cool and damp, um, you're in shape. One of the things that a lot of guys don't do though is change uh, or keep them damp. So there's no water in this uh, cooler. So what I do periodically every other day, I'll go out to a you know spot with saline water and just kind of fill it with water, let them sit in it for a minute and then drain the water back to where it's nothing but uh, just the shrimp and minnows. Another thing with the shrimp, is uh, you want to call out any of the dead ones because over time you know a few spoiled ones will kill the rest I don't know why but uh, I do notice that if you keep most of the dead ones out um, 
the other ones tend to live a little bit longer um, I've also had friends who they'll keep a spray bottle with salt water and they'll just periodically spray them but I personally think they kind of need that little bit of like bath for a little bit just to get them back to where they need to be um, I should probably put a video out soon about how to catch grass shrimp but I just haven't had my GoPro on me I always keep my net in my car because you never know you know when you have a good time to go catch grass shrimp you know but <clears throat> I think that's good for right now let's get them back to the car and see if we can't use them to catch some white perch look Reese look something's biting Reese <gasps> see it <gasps> oh, I think you got fish let's see all right you ready Oh, uh, remember yep grab that oh you gotta hold the rod with this hand yep and then we grab this yeah real 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 yeah there you go oh yeah now you got it got it real oh let's see what we got look 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 you got real Look, I see your fishy. Look, it's a little white perch. See him? Look, Reese. Look at him. Oh. That might be a new record for you. Keep reeling, keep reeling. See him? Let's swing him in. Whoa. Reese, look. Whoa, is that your own jumbo perch? Is that your own jumbo perch? Did you catch that all by yourself? You all right? Look at him. You want the rod? She's like, I just want to hold the rod. All right, we're going to let this guy go, Reese as you play with the reel. Two rods out, uh, well actually three. My daughter's rod, um, one rod with a sabiki rig and one rod with a, a triple hook rig. The bite's starting to pick up Ooh, as we speak. Oh, see that? Come on, white perch. Come on, white perch, come back. Very temperamental bite. Yeah, see how little, just little hits. Ooh, ah, uh, not a little guy. This is on the Sabiki rig, though. Uh -uh. Let's get this guy. Huh, not a white perch. Let him go. Ooh, there we go. Ah, uh, not a big one. Ah, uh, it is the right species, though. White perch. Man, that is a tiny white perch. This guy go that was on the middle hook see how many fish we get well good news is the trip was not a complete loss I mean anytime you can get your child out outside playing you know enjoying wilderness is you know the best way you could spend a day in my opinion um, we did have some fish I mean the bite was uh, actually not so bad for the conditions being what they were um, I will say this we didn't fish very long because, you know, I had to get her home for her uh, nap. So, you know, like I said, the video might be a little bit shorter. Not as many fish as we normally have in, in a video. But, you know, it was just fun to get out with my daughter and, you know, get to put her on some fish. Uh, this week coming up, stay tuned. I have some good ideas. They're not going to be white perch, I promise you. 
Um, I know some people are probably sick of seeing white perch, but you know, that's a staple here in South Jersey. But um, I have a little road trip planned and I'm hoping I can take care of it this week and put some different species on the channel. Thank you again for watching. And if you like my videos, please uh, click below and subscribe. Thanks.